Okay, we are going to give you a Google level prompt engineer. We're gonna take a recently launched white paper from Google about how to be an expert level prompt engineer. And we are gonna turn that not only into a library of advanced prompts for marketers, marketers go use these straight away after you watch this show, but we're gonna give you a custom GPT or help you build a custom GPT that will take any goal you have and it will basically tell you the right prompt type for that goal, why to run that prompt and give you the exact prompt and stay tuned because we run some of these prompts for marketing tactics and the results are phenomenal. So if you want to be able to go from okay at prompting to Google level expert at prompting, you want to stay tuned for this show under 20 minutes. We're gonna give you all of that information. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go from a single PDF that Google released on how to do prompt engineering. So we're gonna, first of all, take a PDF, show you how you can take that and turn it into templates. Then we're gonna create a prompt engineer to take your goal and turn it into the correct style of prompt, right? This prompt engineer is gonna say, well, this is the goal you have. And because of that, here's the type of prompt you should run. That is very, very powerful because you don't have to then internalize all this information for yourself. The AI can do it on your behalf and give you the things you need. That is a whole pile of value packed into probably a 15 minute show. So you're gonna learn a ton of stuff in a short amount of time. Okay, so this all started with a prompt engineer guide. I went through this, it's from Google, it's really good. Claude just launched a free one recently, but we're gonna focus on this for now. And so what we do here is, there's a ton of great information in here. And the first thing I see when I see great information is, well, now I have an AI assistant to be able to use that information in very actionable ways. So the very first thing we do is we create a prompt to turn that PDF into a range of templates that we can apply to marketing. So basically what it does is it says, hey, like take this PDF and then extract the different prompts that Google teaches us to use, create a detailed example of how I use that prompt, tell me when I should actually use that prompt, and then give me a marketing specific example of how to use that prompt. So this is very simplistic, right? We take a PDF and then we create a range of templates against that PDF that a marketer can use in their day-to-day -day work. So it gives a table format and basically says, you know, don't invent new prompt types, only use the things from the guide. So it says here, insert the guide. What we're going to do is upload this. All right, so we're gonna run this. Okay, you could see here now what it's doing is it's extracting the different prompt names from that document. You can take any prompt guide, by the way, and so I know that there's a lot of questions in the comments, where can we get these prompts? We will make sure that these prompts are included in the ongoing prompt library that we give away. But this will work for any guide, right? So here is your prompt engineering guide. It's not specific to Google. It's just any prompt engineering guide. So OpenAI have one, Claude have one. Do read them. Uh, one of the things you do want to be cognizant of is I don't really need to learn information anymore. I've, I, I do feel that that is a struggle for me also is I can just like skip the reading part and have AI start to work on my behalf, but I think the reading part is really important. But here we go, here is the prompt table. So it does zero shot prompt in, gives a, a general example when to use, use when the task is simple and clear enough that no example is needed to guide the model. Let's do another one, few shot prompt then. Examples, I want a small pizza with cheese, I want a large pizza with ham, now I want a medium pizza with pineapple. When the model needs multiple demonstrations to understand the pattern or complexity. Roll prompt in, and so we know this one, this is like when you want the model to adapt to a specific persona, tone, or area. So we have an example here for marketing where you act as a veteran performance marketer. The contextual prompting use when the task requires background information or specific framing to generate relevant output context. You are writing for a blog about retro arcade games, suggest three article topics, and then it does the marketing example. You are creating email campaigns for a luxury skincare brand, targeting women over 40, write three subject lines for product launch email. So get the context. Context is actually always really important. So you get, you get the idea. It's given a whole table here and then when to use it and then basically give you some examples on the marketing side if you ran this in 03 and basically used my prompt and said, make sure that they are detailed prompts. But I think that gives you the example that you can go from a singular template to this library inclusive of marketing specific examples. But the next thing that would be kind of cool is, well, I still have to know what prompt to use. 
So what if I created a GPT, custom GPT that would do this for me? And so this prompt here is going to try to take an outcome and match it against the right prompt name from that Google PDF to be able to tell me, well, what prompt should I actually use? So let's say this is the first, I'm gonna show you how I created this. This is the first time I'm using it. So let's live demos are always hard. I'm a product marketer. I want to take a product web page and turn it into a full product launch campaign that can be executed over 30 days. I'm the sole product marketer at the company, so please ensure the campaign can be executed by one person. The outcome is to generate five new customers for this new product. Do so you have to get a clear goal? Let us see how this works. And then it gives you an actual prompt to use. You are a product marketer and campaign strategist. I will provide you with a content web page. Your task is to transform that web page into a 30 day product launch campaign. So then it goes through the things, the constraints that I give it and let us see. So we could run this. Let's actually run this prompt. In the meantime, I can go on to the next thing we've, we're gonna do. Basically, let me go Let me go in and show you through. So we'll go in and we'll edit this GPT. And so basically it is just saying that you are a prompt engineer assistant that you get two inputs, which is the Google PDF. Again, these you could actually upload all of the company, different companies' prompt engineering guides. I'm just using Google. You could actually have OpenAI's in here, Claude's in here, and then it says you the user will give you a specific outcome that they want to achieve, and then you're going to use their prompt to help them. Achieve, you're going to give them the right prompt to achieve that goal, and it gives some instructions to analyze the outcome cross-reference against the prompt engineering guide that we give it, and then gives it the format that you, you had seen. And so basically what it's doing is saying, here's a PDF, user's gonna give you a guide, here's some details of what I want you to return, which is like what prompt, why that prompt, and the actual prompt the user would need to achieve that goal. And we can do one more to see it works. I actually think it is super cool. I'm a paid marketer who has saturated all spend on Google AdWords. I want to reduce my CAC by trying new channels outside of Google AdWords and Meta. I sell a B2B AI SDR tool because everyone does. My goal is to generate 20% more signups from my paid spend by running experiments on new channels. How can I decide on the first channel and experiment? All right, we'll. And so this is the one we had created, the transformation prompt. And so here it's giving me a 30 day solo operator launch playbook. And it's giving me uh, key guardrails, weekly checkpoints, uh, and a full plan, uh, all from that single web page. So here's week one. It's got some teasers, blogs, LinkedIn poll, pretty uh, detailed actually. Week one, foundation and early awareness, pretty cool. Week two, engagement and list builds. Week three, amplify and social proof. Wow, this is really good. Week four, conversation, push and referrals. And then goes through a bunch of other things. So it's given me like a pretty great product marketing campaign using the transformation prompt from a uh, single web page. And if I go here, here's another prompt that it's going to give me to do the paid marketing and it's given me decision-making prompt. Why it's recommended, the user's goal is to make a strategic decision specifically to identify the most promising new paid channel and experiments to reduce CAC and increase signups. A decision-making prompt is ideal because it synthesizes context, B2B AI tool, saturated existing channels, CAC goals, to propose a well-reasoned actionable next step. This prompt type is designed to weigh options prioritized based on impact and feasibility and guide action. And then it gives me a ready to use prompt. Pretty cool, right? So you, it actually will pattern match the goal that you have against the right prompt type. And we've ran one here. It is really good. Again, that was 03, uh, probably slightly different results and different models. Okay, so like, well, that's pretty cool, but I still have to think about the goals that I have. And so I can use this anytime I have a goal, I can go to my prompt engineer and it will basically give me the right prompt for whatever goal I'm trying to achieve. So there you have it. We took a PDF, this white paper launched by Google around how to be an expert level prompter, we turned it into a library of prompts that marketers can go use right now, that you can go start to use for your work right now. But we didn't stop there. We created a prompt engineer, a custom GPT that could take any goal you have, map it to the right type of prompt, tell you why that's the prompt to use, and then it gives you the prompt. And we saw the results. They are phenomenal. 
I am going to use them in my day-to-day -day work. I can't wait to start using this prompt engineer that we built. If you like this episode, if you got a ton of value from this episode, make sure you subscribe and keep on watching Marketing Against the Green because we have many more episodes like this. I hope this show was valuable. There's a lot in it. By the time you've gone through this, you're going to be a prompt wizard. And we'll see you again on the next episode of Marketing Against the Green. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better.